Hi, my name is Shigi Mendoza. I'm a content creator here at Bite Size. Who doesn't like Japanese food? Personally, I love unagi, but it's just so expensive. So today we're gonna make a healthier, more affordable version. So let's begin with our eggplant unagi. So simple lang yung ingredients natin today. We have our Japanese rice, our eggplant, now for our nagi sauce, we have our soy sauce, hondashi, sugar, pancake syrup, mirin, and for seasoning, we have salt, pepper, cooking oil, scallions, and seaweed. Let's begin. First procedure is cooking our rice. We take our washed Japanese rice, place it in the pot, pour in enough water to cover it. Okay, now we're gonna close the lid and let this cook halfway. Okay, so now our rice is halfway cooked. We're gonna put in our eggplant for efficiency. Okay, now we're gonna let the eggplant steam for about eight minutes until it has softened. Tatanggalin natin yung lid, and we're gonna flip. Close the lid back, and let it steam some more. Our eggplants have finally softened. Now we're gonna set them aside. We're also gonna set aside our Japanese rice. Let it cool. Let's prep our eggplants. Okay, now we're gonna take one of our eggplants and we're gonna slice it in half, but not all the way through. And we're gonna slice it some more to flatten the eggplant. So the na tayo mag-score ng ating eggplants. It's time to make the nagi sauce. For our unagi sauce, we're gonna mix in in a separate bowl our mirin, hondashi, Japanese soy sauce, our pancake syrup, and sugar. Now we're gonna mix it and set it aside. So once our pan is hot enough, we're gonna place in our eggplant, skin down first. Now, we're gonna let the skin brown a bit, and then we're gonna flip it. So after flipping it, it's time to place in our nagi sauce. Okay, we're gonna reserve the rest of the sauce for later plating. Now we're gonna reduce the sauce, and once that's done, we're gonna flip it again and set it aside. For texture and for a different depth of flavor to our dish, we're gonna add in some scallions. So first, we're gonna coat our scallions with some oil. We're gonna add in some salt, make sure it's evenly coated. So after coating our scallions and seasoning it, it's time to torch. All our ingredients are ready, it's time to assemble. So first we have our rice, and we're gonna top it with some seaweed. Now we're gonna place in our eggplant, unagi, drizzle in some toasted sesame seeds. Some of our torch scallions on the side, and the cherry on top, some more of our unagi sauce. So here you go guys, this is our healthier and more affordable eggplant unagi. For more Japanese inspired recipes, don't forget to like and subscribe at their YouTube channel, Bite Size PH. Let's try it out.